When we think of buildings, we often focus on what we can see. The towering walls, the stylish windows, the elegant roof lines. But what about the part we don't see? The very base that holds everything up? That's where foundation piers come in. These hidden structural elements play a huge role in keeping homes, offices, and even skyscrapers standing tall and stable. Whether it's a cozy cottage or a massive commercial complex, foundation piers make it possible. In today's video, we're diving into the world of foundation piers, what they are, why we need them, the different types, and how they've helped shape the way we build structures across the globe. So, if you've ever wondered how buildings stay steady on shifting ground or why some houses don't sink during a flood, you're about to find out. Let's get to the roots, literally, right here, on History of Simple Things. Foundation piers are deep, vertical structural supports that transfer the weight of a building down to stronger soil or rock beneath the surface. Think of them as the legs of a stool. If the ground near the surface isn't strong enough to hold up a building, the piers act as extensions, reaching down to more stable layers underground. These piers help keep structures level and secure, especially in areas where soil tends to move, settle, or erode over time. Without piers, buildings could lean, crack, or even collapse as the earth beneath them shifts. So when engineers determine that shallow foundations like concrete slabs or footings won't cut it, piers are often the go-to solution. They're not always visible, but they do some seriously heavy lifting, literally. So why exactly do we need foundation piers? It all comes down to soil and stability. In many regions, the topsoil is too loose or too moist to support the massive weight of a structure. Over time, this type of soil can shift, shrink, swell, or wash away, putting a building at risk of settling unevenly, or worse, collapsing. Foundation piers help bypass these unstable upper layers and anchor the building to something stronger. It could be compacted soil deep underground or solid bedrock. This added depth gives the structure a much firmer grip on the earth, making it far more resistant to movement caused by weather, water, or seismic activity. They're especially important in areas prone to flooding, earthquakes, or expansive clay soils, where the ground conditions can change dramatically throughout the year. You might be surprised to learn that the concept of using piers in construction isn't new. In fact, ancient civilizations were doing it long before bulldozers and jackhammers existed. The Romans, for instance, used stone piers to support bridges and aqueducts. In parts of Asia, wooden piers were used to build stilt houses above marshy or flood-prone land. These early builders may not have had today's engineering tools, but they understood the importance of building on something strong and stable. Over time, Technology advanced, and materials improved. Steel and reinforced concrete replaced wood and stone, making piers more durable and better suited for larger, heavier structures. Today, they're a standard part of construction in many parts of the world, quietly doing their job beneath the surface. Foundation piers aren't one size fits all. Depending on the structure and soil conditions, different types are used. Let's break down the main ones. Concrete piers. These are often used for residential buildings and are poured in place. A hole is drilled into the ground. A steel rebar cage is placed inside, and then it's filled with concrete. Once cured, it becomes a rock-solid support that can last for decades. Steel piers. Steel piers, also known as push piers or resistance piers, are driven deep into the ground using hydraulic force. They're ideal for lifting and stabilizing existing foundations that have started to sink. Because they're driven until they hit bedrock or load-bearing soil, they offer reliable long-term support. Helical piers. These piers have spiral-shaped blades at the bottom and are twisted into the ground like a giant screw. Helical piers are great for lighter structures or areas with soft soil. 
They can be installed quickly with minimal disturbance to the surrounding area. Lastly, drilled shaft piers. Also known as caissons, these are large diameter concrete piers used for heavy commercial buildings, bridges, or towers. They're drilled deep into the ground, often reaching several dozen feet or more, and then reinforced with steel and concrete. Each type serves a specific purpose, and engineers choose based on the site's needs. It's all about finding the right match between the building, the soil, and the structural demands. Foundation piers are used in specific situations where traditional foundations simply won't do the job. One common scenario is during new construction on land with weak or unstable soil. Engineers will often call for piers right from the start to ensure the building stays secure. They're also frequently used in structural repairs, especially when a house or building shows signs of foundation problems like cracks, uneven floors, or doors that won't close properly. In these cases, piers can be installed beneath the existing foundation to stabilize it and prevent further damage. Additionally, in areas prone to natural hazards such as floods or earthquakes, piers are used to anchor buildings more securely or elevate them above flood levels. In all these scenarios, foundation piers provide a vital layer of protection and peace of mind. The process of installing foundation piers can vary, but it generally follows a few key steps. First, soil tests are performed to assess the ground conditions. Then, based on the results, engineers decide on the type and depth of the piers. For concrete piers, crews dig holes and pour the concrete right into the ground. For steel or helical piers, the materials are driven or screwed into place using hydraulic or mechanical equipment. If the building already exists and the piers are being added for repair, workers may need to excavate around the foundation to access the footing. Then, the piers are installed and attached to the foundation with special brackets. The building can even be gently lifted back to its original level in some cases. It's a precise technical job that requires skill and careful planning. But when done right, it provides solid, long-lasting results. Foundation piers offer several important benefits that make them a trusted choice in both new construction and repair work. One of their biggest strengths is long-term stability. Once installed, they provide reliable support that helps keep buildings level and secure for years to come. They're also surprisingly efficient to install, especially in the case of steel or helical piers, which cause minimal disruption to the surrounding area. Because they can be added to existing structures, they're incredibly useful for repairing foundations that have started to fail. Even better, they offer resilience against environmental changes like flooding, soil erosion, or seismic activity. In the long run, a well-installed pier system can protect property value and give homeowners peace of mind, knowing their structure is anchored deep into stable ground. Foundation piers might not be the flashiest part of a building, but they're among the most important. They work behind the scenes, offering strength, stability, and security, especially when the ground beneath our feet is anything but reliable. From ancient builders stacking stones by hand to modern crews using hydraulics and GPS, the core idea remains the same. Sometimes, you have to go deep to build something that lasts. So the next time you step into a house or a towering skyscraper, take a moment to appreciate the hidden heroes underground, the foundation piers holding it all together. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.